This video was made possible by Gamersgate.com. Download games anytime, anywhere. Skip it up and that up. Well, Ubisoft is kind of getting their asses handed to them a little bit ever since they announced that Watch Dogs is going to be delayed until spring 2014. The company's stock fell 32%. That's the most since the company debuted on the Paris Stock Exchange in 1996. As a result, Ubisoft is expecting an operating loss of $54 million and $95 million for the year ending in March 2014. People are also saying they made this move to delay Watch Dogs because Splinter Cell Blacklist didn't have good sales and neither did Rayman Legends. Now, I kind of had a feeling it was due to the competition coming out this fall, the holiday season. We're going to see Battlefield 4, Grand Theft Auto 5, Call of Duty Ghosts, and a whole crap load of other titles. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, their own game that's coming out this fall. I mean, there was so much competition and all of the other games that are coming out. Dead Rising 3, Killzone Shadowfall, there's just so many damn games, multi-plats, exclusives coming out this fall for the holiday season and with the upcoming generation for Ubisoft to take the risk and, and put a fled, brand new fledgling franchise out there wouldn't have been a smart move for them and they realize this. So honestly... I kind of have a feeling that the game is not as buggy as they're trying to make it, but they wanted to, they didn't want to come out and say, hey guys, we're holding off the game because we want to maximize profits. They would have seemed like dicks. They rather say, oh, we want to work on it and polish it and make sure it's the best experience for you possible. And basically what they were saying is that, look, we, we, we don't want to compete with all these other games. We want to make sure Watch Dogs has enough of a chance and can make the most money as it possibly can. Look, man, we all realize these games cost a crap ton of money to make. And to release a new AAA title that's a new fledgling franchise, like I said before, is a huge risk. You know, and even if the game is fantastic and gets 10 out of 10s from every single review site out there, human nature is, and we all know this, you have that established franchise you've loved for years next to it, even if you're kind of getting sick of it, or you have a new game that you don't know, a new franchise you don't know too much about, people are going to, people are creatures of habit. You and I both know this, and they're going to go for the experience they know and trust, even if the other one is being critically acclaimed. It's just human nature and how it is. On top of it too, let's think about it this way. You're a parent out there and your 15 year old kid wants PlayStation 4. You don't know that much about the games. You go out and see Watch Dogs or Call of Duty Ghosts. You're gonna be like, hey, we know little Bobby likes the Call of Duty series. We're just gonna get that. They don't, they don't not. They, do you think like parents in their late 30s and 40s are gonna be looking at review sites? No. They're just going to pick out what they know the kid likes, and that could hurt you, Ubisoft in the long run. We also have to realize now, these big AAA games cost a crap ton of money to make. Do they need to cost as much as they do? According to Metro Last Light developer, no, they don't. But they spend a lot of money on these games, and if these games go belly up, it could be very devastating even for bigger companies like Ubisoft. I mean, hell, look at Capcom right now. Now we can go into why Capcom isn't the dire financial position that it's in but even capcom is hurting right now and you know if watch Dogs comes out and does not sell well it could spell bad news for ubisoft and on top of it too like i just said splinter, splinter cell blacklist and rayman legends didn't do well so to not have watch dogs do well also wouldn't be too good for them so there's a lot of risk here, and they, I, I think they'd rather just not take it. So what's your take on this, guys? Do you think they're actually holding off Watch Dogs due to quote-unquote bugs that are in the game they want to iron out? Or do you think because there's just too much competition this holiday season and they don't want to put up a new IP against it? Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting Review Tech USA. Have a good one.